What is up everybody? Today we have a new lesson. We're looking at how to add positive and negative numbers. Let's jump into it. Okay, in today's lesson we're going to use a number line. So I've got this number line here at the bottom just to illustrate exactly what we're doing. And we're going to follow these two rules. The first one says adding a positive number means we must go up the number line, meaning we're going to get a greater value. And the rule two says adding a negative number means we go down the number line, meaning our value gets less. So let's have a look at what that looks like with example one. So example one says negative six plus 11. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark negative six on our number line. And I can see it just here. So that's going to be our starting position. And now I'm adding a positive 11. So if I have negative six and I add a positive to it, I'm going to end up coming up my number line. So let's do it. Let's make our 11 jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we land on five. So negative six plus 11 equals five. Question one, not too challenging. Let's have a look at question two. This is a bit harder. We have nine plus a negative number this time. So remember, rule two said if we add a negative number, we're going to end up coming down our number line. So first things first, I'm going to mark my nine on my number line. Here it is. And I'm now going to come 11 jumps back down my number line. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I land on negative two. Therefore, 9 plus a negative 11 leaves us with negative 2. Now, that might be the first one that throws us off a little bit. But the way to think of it is we originally had 9, and then someone gave me, they added a negative 11. So I had 9, and then someone gave me a negative 11. So essentially, they gave me a debt. I now owed them negative 11, and I only had 9. So I gave them all my nine, and then I still owe them negative two. Okay, let's look at question three. Question three says negative three, add negative five. So we're gonna follow the same steps. I'm gonna circle my negative three on the number line. There it is. And I'm adding another negative, and I'm adding negative five. So remember rule two, if I add a negative, I have to come down my number line. Because again, I had negative three, I was already owing someone three, and then someone added another minus five, another owing five. So let's see how much I owe. Negative three, one, two, three, four, five. Added a negative five, leaves me with negative eight. Let's do one more. This one I'm starting with negative one, and I'm adding a negative four. So negative one, circle it on my number line, and then I add another debt, another O. So I'm going one, two, three, four, and I land on negative five. And there we go, that is adding positive and negative numbers. Let's think about what to remember. First, we need to draw a number line to help us. Then we're gonna put the first number on the line, and then we're gonna remember our two rules. Adding a positive number means we go up the number line. Adding a negative number means we will come down the number line. Okay, here are four questions for you to have a go at. Try and work out the answers to these four questions and put your answers into the comment section. And there we go. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in another video. But for now, peace out. Welcome back to the Math Guy, everybody. Today we're looking at how to subtract positive and negative numbers. Let's jump into it. Okay, we're gonna look at these four questions here today, and we're also gonna use this number line to help us visualize exactly what we are doing. And we're gonna follow these two rules. First one says subtracting a positive number means we go down the number line. That makes sense, doesn't it? If we subtract a normal positive number, we will go down the number line. But then it says subtracting a negative number means we will go up the number line. And that's what's gonna be a little bit confusing to understand today. So let's have a look at question one. Question one says six subtract 
a negative four. So let's have a look at our number line then. We're starting at six down here and we are subtracting a negative four. Now when we subtract a negative, as it says on this second rule, we have to go up the number line. But why? Well, think of it like this. We had six and we also had a negative four, a debt of four. But then fortunately, that debt was taken away by subtracting the negative four. So therefore, I'm gonna actually add four to my six. So one, two, three, four, leave me with 10. So six, subtract a negative four equals 10. Let's have a look at question two. And this time we're starting at negative nine. Find that on the number line, there it is. And this time I am subtracting a negative two. Now if I was adding a negative two, I would come one, two down my number line because that would be adding more debt. But this time I'm taking away some debt. So therefore I come up the number line one, two, and I land at negative seven. So negative nine, subtract a negative two, leaves me with negative seven. Again, following that rule, subtracting a negative number means we go up the number line. Let's have a look at question three. Question three says I have negative three and I am subtracting five. So I'm on negative three and I am subtracting, this time, a positive number. So we follow the first rule. Subtracting a positive number means we go down the number line because essentially all I'm doing is subtracting another five. So I'm at negative three, subtract five is one, two, three, four, five, leaves me on negative eight. So negative three minus five is negative eight. Last one, negative eight, subtract negative four. So let's find negative eight on the number line. There it is. And if I subtract a negative, I actually come up the number line, one, two, three, four, and I land on negative four. So negative eight, subtract a negative four is negative four. Whoa, pretty tricky, right? A little bit confusing to think about. But basically, if we are subtracting a negative number, we actually end up adding. So let's think about things to remember in this lesson. First, draw a number line to help you. This will help you visualize what exactly you're doing. Then put the first number on the line before following the rule for the second number. And the rules are subtracting a positive number means we go down the number line and subtracting a negative number means we go up the number line. Here are four questions for you to have a go at. Work these questions out, put your answers in the comment section. I'm gonna mark them all. And there we go. That is subtracting positive and negative integers or numbers. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Thank you very much for watching, but for now, Peace out.